B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, F, G, Q, L, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time would you sing with me? When a young child learns the ABCs, she is building the foundation for a lifetime of reading. She will eventually learn to recognize the way the letters look and sound without having to stop and think. These skills will lead her to read with fluency and will allow her to comprehend what she reads because she can focus on the meaning of the words instead of the structure. The same concept holds true for learning the touch method of keyboarding. We are in the midst of the digital age, and as such, students of all ages need to become familiar with how to use technology. One of the most basic skills that students need to learn is how to type letters on the keyboard without looking at their fingers or even thinking about where the keys are. Being able to type with fluency will allow these students to focus on the content and format of what they are typing and will allow them to use technology more efficiently. Welcome to a guide to basic keyboarding. The purpose of this video is to provide some basic guidelines for keyboarding. Keyboarding is a very valuable skill to acquire. People who are good at keyboarding do not need to look at the keyboard when typing. They look at the monitor or at the page that they are copying. Using proper keyboarding techniques is important so that you do not develop neck, back, or other body pains. In addition to maintaining your health, what are some other reasons for learning keyboarding? Here are some of the top 10 reasons that you should learn keyboarding. Number one, your typing speed and accuracy skills will improve. Number two, you can complete essays and reports faster. Number three, the presentation of your work will always look professional. Number four, you will be a more proficient user of many popular software applications. Number five, you will be more appealing to hire for employers. Number six, you will be less likely to make errors and typos when keying documents. Number seven, you will learn how to properly format a variety of professional documents such as business letters and memos. Number eight, your reading, spelling, punctuation, and proofreading skills will improve. Number nine, you can earn money by offering your typing skills to those who do not know how. Number ten, your concentration levels increase with your hand-eye coordination. Proper keyboarding posture. The keyboard should be placed as close as possible to the front edge of the table. The monitor should be positioned so that the neck is straight and your eyes are looking straight ahead. Let's take a look at two students named Nick and Connor. One of these students is sitting properly in front of the computer. Can you guess which one? Proper posture is important when learning to keyboard. Improper posture can lead to neck and back pain. Proper posture includes sitting up straight in the chair with your back and butt up against the back of the chair. Your feet should be up flat on the floor. Keeping your elbows at your waist, place your hands flatly over the home keys with your arms at a natural angle. Keep your wrists relaxed, but not resting on the keyboard frame or desktop. Proper placement of your hands on the keyboard. The best way to use the keyboard is with both hands. Proper keyboarding begins with placing your hands on the home keys, which are located in the third row. Find the letters A, S, D, F, J, K, L, and the semicolon key. Place your left hand fingers on the keys A, S, D, and F, and your right fingers on the keys J, K, L, and semicolon. Remember, the keyboard is divided into the left side and the right side. When typing, your left hand stays on the left side and strikes only the keys on the left side, and your right hand stays on the right side and strikes only the keys on the right side. Remember, learning to keyboard can be compared to learning to play an instrument or a sport. The more you practice, the better you'll become at keyboarding.